Uh, at least give me one bread and one water. Come on, man. Now he's like, you have to earn your keep. You may be saving our village, but you gotta earn it. Uh-oh. Well done, making it here. I had a good look at your ability. Or maybe it was just that stone on your left arm. No doubt, that's the legendary Atlamelia. A treasure from the gods that only the worthy can possess. Hard to believe you're worthy of it, but that's not the issue here. Would you be so kind as to hand it over to me? Uh, no? I see. So you intend to use that stone to restore the world. A noble goal. But even if you restore the world, the destruction could repeat itself, unless you defeat the Dark Genie. Unfortunately, such a task is beyond your abilities. It is being powerful enough to destroy the world in an instant. No weapon or man can stand and face it alone. Then join me, dude. I've come to this place, or rather, this time for that stone. I need that stone. More than you do, actually. There's a great deal about that stone you don't comprehend yet. Uh, huh? Uh, <laughs> Pardon me. I do ramble on sometimes. Well, if you'll not hand over the stone willingly, then I have no choice. Let's see what you can do as the one supposedly entitled to the stone. Okay. <laughs> He's a knockoff Sephiroth. Oh, what the heck, man? Clear! I won! Sort of. Huh. You did quite well. How's this then? He's gonna blast me with dark energy. It's a cat. Oof. Well, that was cheap. Huh. You amuse me, boy. You can't even handle an attack as meager as this. You cannot be worthy of the stone. Aw, the cat. <laughs> it's not that you couldn't dodge. You simply didn't. Deliberately. Fine then. That's it for today. I think I'm beginning to see why the fairies chose you. It will be amusing to see how well you do. Bye, I guess. I will offer you some free information, though. You cannot defeat the Dark Genie even with a stone. Not yet. If you have even a vague desire to defeat it, you must become stronger. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Have that little one return you the favor. See you soon. Okay. Thanks, guy. I guess. Changing s potion, huh? Oh no. Huh? <gasps> oh, I get it. Uh... Stray cat acquired. Oh, good to see you just came just in time. Look. A little kitty cat wandered in here. Aww. That's adorable. Let's give this kitty a name, alright? Xiao? Why are we naming our cat Xiao? You know what? Let's think of a cute name for the cat. Shall we? 
I'll call her Nilla. Nilla? That's a great name. It's short for Vanilla. <laughs> Its eyes tell us to do something, huh? Oh, God. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's this? Whoa! I'm like totally a human! Wow, how did you do it, Master? Are you a wizard? Oh well, never mind. Well, anyways... Nilla wants to help Master with the adventure. Please, can I? Please, please, please? Say yes, say yes! Nilla has become an ally! Oh god! <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh, is this a new friend? I haven't seen her around here. Help me. <laughs> Towen? Oh, that's it's the old guy. <laughs> it's been a while, eh, Towen? So you have an ally to help you through your adventure. Now let me give you some tips about allies. The only place you can call for your ally is inside a dungeon. As you advance deep into the dungeon, it may become so hard that you can't finish it without some help. When you run into situations that you can't handle on your own, it's a good idea to get help from an ally. They'll be happy to help you. However, you're the only one with the power of the Atlamelia that can break the seal of Atla. So long! Okay. <laughs> we have a new recruit, but because of the situation with the mayor, we're running into a problem. With enemies barely dropping any money, coupled with the fact that I was either getting poisoned or dying constantly, I was feeling really screwed. How was I going to get through this? Without money, I couldn't buy supplies, and if I didn't have supplies, I would get annihilated by the monsters, which would end up costing me half of whatever gold I was carrying at the time. The game actually started to feel unfair. I felt resigned that there was no other option than to grind the lower floors and take advantage of my upgraded dagger and my new weapon in order to clear it, get as much money and items as I could, and get out without worrying about escape powder. If I get defeated, I lose half my money. But if I don't have money, I can't buy items to survive. And home dude won't give me items anymore. What the heck? I don't have money, man! I'm trying to save the world! I don't have any money! But now I gotta go to the old gaffer and pay him my 12 pennies for water? I guess what I can do, maybe, is go to lower levels and just try and grind money? Hey, an antidote drink. I... I like that. I like not needing to buy it. Oh, money! I appreciate that. We can beat one more enemy and... That means we can also leave if we want. For free. Free of charge. No escape things required. Okay, let's hope that this new sword I have is strong enough to get through this area and at least get my last two, oop, my last two items that I need. Please be an actual item and not a, a mimic. Oh, I got money. Thank God for money. Stop giving me these prickly. I don't need them. Oh no! No! Oh, we did it! We got the Drance Crest! So far, we got by with random items and occasionally buying repair powder. The real reason for our success is the ability to upgrade our new weapon. 
which reduced how many swings were required to defeat enemies. But money was still an issue. However, I had amassed a lot of these fishing lures that I never use. I can't say I needed them at this stage in the game. I couldn't even fish with them. But when I found out that lure sold for 200 gold, I sold all of them and stocked up on supplies. Finally, I felt like I could actually manage playing the game again and start going deeper into Dran's lair. Oh no! <laughs> no! Run away! Oh no! No! Leave me alone! Oh god! No, 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 no. Oh, I hate these rocking rolling things. Please stop. Go away. Bomb nuts. Wait, we have bombs. Yeah, screw you. We got about three more items that we need to collect, but we also need the seal so that we can move on to the next floor. And things are getting progressively harder because enemies just take longer to kill. And then there's that annoying thing. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. You leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you. The enemies were getting a lot tougher and they hit harder too. I was constantly cheating the system any chance I could. Instead of eating bread, if there was a source of water on the map, I'd immediately run all the way there whenever I sustained heavy damage. And it saved me on water, too. Of course, this is nothing really new. Since the beginning, I always took advantage of water sources to save on eating or drinking. It's just that now, the enemies deal more damage in a single hit. And then, the unexpected happened. One of the floors didn't have any Atla at all, so I just suspected it was going to be another duel, right? Wrong. Now I was expected to fight all my enemies as Nilla, the cat I rescued from earlier, and her weapon didn't do anything to these guys. And I somehow had to defeat any number of them to get Dran's crest? Uh-oh. Oh, there's nothing here. Is it a duel? Is it a boss fight? Uh-oh, it's the girl? Due to a mysterious force, Nilla was summoned. No other characters are available here? Oh, don't know. Oh no. Well, we are doomed. Stop that. Oh no. Go? Get out of here. She has to be able to defeat somebody in order to even get the stupid crest out of here. Oh no! Oh no! There's two of them! There's two dragons! <laughs> Map acquired. Oh no! Oh, I can kill that thing, probably. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, I wish her weapon was a little bit stronger. There it is! We got the Dran's Crest! Oh, screw you! Oh, screw you! Out we get! That was horrible. That was awful. I don't want to do that again. I think she's very convenient for fighting things at a distance that normally I have trouble with. But no! None of that nonsense! where we gotta beat up things that are way too powerful. 